All right, so we got some food updates here at the Hub and Allen. So we got the Berry Treasure and the Patio Punch. The Berry Treasure comes with Captain Crunch Berry. How awesome is that? It's so fun. And then of course, Patio has a cute little lime. Yep. All right, I'm trying. I'm gonna try the berry one first. Okay. perfect summer drink because I think this one was vodka and lemon. Okay. It's strong but not like overbearing. That's like a perfect summer drink. Ooh. Look at that. I love Captain Crunch. Mm -hmm. Yum. These are some pretty good sized wings. They're glazed. Looks very nice. You gave us a for $8, this is a too small of a cup of mac and cheese. I will say I'm a little disappointed on the portion, but the look of it, it looks yummy. I do wish it was bigger. Here's my finger. Here's my pinky. <laughs> I got small hands, so it's a good reference, I think. All right. All right Haley's going to try the wings first. Nice smoky smell, so that's a good start. Mmm. Oh, wow. It's got a really good smoky flavor to it. Oh, and it's kind of spicy. Oh, yeah. Like the barbecue sauce that they use, has got a bite to it. So that's, that's very delicious. I'm happy with this. My turn. Nice. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> oh. It has a nice like crispiness to it. Mm-hmm. There's like a little... Like a bite to it, right? Yeah. It's like a... I wouldn't call it a burn, but there's like a small little like fuzzy burn on your tongue. Yeah. Like that's the best way to explain it. Tastes good. I love it. I do like that it's got a nice crunch to it. Like that's a, that's a good quality wing. Yum, yum. Mm. So from first look, they add like crumbs to the top. It's not toasted or anything. It looks like it was just sprinkled on. It's basic mac and cheese. I feel like there's nothing really special to it. It kind of reminds me of Stouffer mac and cheese. Like it's thick and creamy, but like the flavor is a little lacking. So today happened to land on the Find Goodness Festival. This is their first year of doing this food crawl now that majority of the restaurants are open. Each food vendor will provide a sample of one of their dishes, so you get to try a bit of everything for only $20. We only have an hour left to eat all this food. So let's see if we can do it. Uh, I'm still hungry after the wings and mac and cheese, so I think we can do it. Me too. The first place we started at was Pizzeria Flora. This place was rad because the owner, Sal Casola, and the executive chef, Lee Terrell, took me behind the scenes where they prepped and made the pizza dough. They prepped their dough and let it sit for 48 hours, and it's all handmade and packed. They make sure that all the air gets out of their dough and ready for the baking process. Talking about the pizza now, overall it was full of flavor, a nice crisp crust, sauce was sweet, and the toppings were fresh. The pizzas they sampled were the Flora Supreme and Slow Roasted Pork Belly and Fresnos. That was my first time having pork belly on a pizza, but it was great. Cheese wasn't too salty, and again the sauce made the pizza savory. The rigatoni with vodka sauce was incredible. The sauce was sweet. There wasn't any sour aftertaste. Perfect blend of garlic, onion, and parmesan. I liked how creamy the sauce was, and the rigatoni was firm and a decent noodle size, um, if that makes sense. Definitely something we'd get again in the future. Overall, Pizza Flora gets a cozy experience in our book. Next is the Smothered Enchiladas by Macho Taco. These were mole chicken enchiladas smothered in queso and red enchilada sauce. The chicken was smoked to perfection and it was actually smoked at the hub by their local smoke barbecue joint. So it's cool to see how interconnected these restaurants are. Now for how it tasted, I thought it was pretty good. The tortilla had a bit of a crunch, but it wasn't burnt or overcooked. 
The smoked chicken with the enchilada sauce and queso was a very good combination of flavors. Overall, good quality and gets a cozy experience. Next is the smoked prime ribeye by Salty Butcher. This dish has horseradish cream, microgreens on a crostini, and of course prime rib on top with arugula garnish and olive oil drizzle. Overall, it was a satisfying bite, more so a palate cleanser. The flavors are there for a few seconds and then it kind of goes away and all you end up tasting is the bread. It was nice to get to try it, but definitely would love to see what else they have to offer. Next, I tried the crawfish po' boy by Hooked, which was fried crawfish with Creole mustard remoulade on a mini po' boy. This dish had a very sour taste to it due to the mustard remoulade. If you're a fan of crawfish and po' boys, I would say try it out. If not, I felt like this was one you can skip, but also I would like to try their lobster roll and key lime pie. Next is Crave, which gave us a smashed single slider, and to be honest, it was basic. It came with mustard, and I absolutely hate mustard, and it didn't help that this one that they gave us was smothered and drenched in mustard. Not much more to say about it, it wasn't juicy or anything to rave about, but it was a nice snack. Next we got the smoked meatball from the Republic which is located upstairs in the hub. This dish is an Angus short rib brisket blend with pork, garlic, basil, and red pepper flakes. Overall both of us liked the smoky flavor of the meatball. It had a, a nice balance of salty and sweet. Lastly, we had snow cones from Super Freeze, which by the way has great soft serve ice cream, which I was sad that it wasn't the sample they were giving out. The snow cone syrup was sweet as it should be, had flavor, which is always nice. Our only complaint would be that we wish the ice was finer. We ended up pouring it into our drinks, which made our drinks have a nice new flavor, so that was fun. Alright guys, that was the hub here at Allen. Such a wonderful place for family. Fun experience, food for everyone, entertainment. They always got something going on. So apologies for the voiceovers. There was uh, music, live music playing. Today so happened to be a food crawl. It was totally unplanned. We did not know this was happening when we decided to come here. It was Fine Goodness Festival. You got to try a sample of each restaurant here for $20. And they'd punch it. Like, after you go there, they'd punch it to show that you've been there. They'd ask how many is in your party, say one or two, mm -hmm. and so... they give you a portion enough for, like, one or two people, which was really nice. That's cool. Yeah, and for sure, I got a belly right now. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a good amount of samples. Yeah. Um, the pizza here, the Pizza Ria Flora, I think that was... It was one of the best places here. Very much so. Very good flavor. I think it could definitely give New York's pizza a run for their money. I'll just yeah. say that. It was good. Not in size, but in flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, the crispness of the pizza was awesome. The sauce was very sweet. Um, the, the toppings were fresh. Like, it was really delicious. Uh, local Smoke, which is their, uh, the hub owns um, anything inside the building and a couple places outside, two places outside. Mm -hmm. uh, Super Freeze and... The bar. Anyways, the local smoke is their barbecue joint inside, and they had wings today, smoked wings. That was the main reason we came here, actually. Yeah, <laughs> and that was awesome. Mm -hmm. Great flavor, not too much heat, just a little tingle on your tongue. Yes. Phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Like, it's one of those, it was such good flavor that you don't need anything to dip it in. It was good on its own. I'd say one of my favorite things about here is the workers here are always so nice, so helpful. They're like they're always checking up on you and helping you out. Like I, I really, I really love that about this place. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button down below. And we'll catch you in the next cozy experience. Peace. Peace.